What is the difference between a silendoscopy and a traditional salivary gland surgery? So uh, traditional salivary gland surgery usually involves in, uh, incisions uh, externally uh, through the neck or sometimes the face and, uh, and in many cases removal of the affected glands uh, which is not really organ or function preserving. Uh, Sile endoscopy allows us to treat those same conditions in a way that's minimally invasive. We're able to go in usually incisionless or uh, without external incisions, uh, treat the condition and leave the gland intact. So maintain the function and preserve the organ. I have another bonus question. Um, why, what condition would require you to remove somebody's salivary gland? Yeah, so uh, for instance, if someone has a salivary gland stone that's obstructing and is causing them pain and swelling whenever they eat, um, that condition can also sometimes lead to infections in the gland because of the backup. Uh, and in some of those cases in the past, because the access to the saliva stones was very difficult, the gland were simply removed along with the stone and that required a bigger surgery, external approach, removal of the gland, and a longer recovery period. Um, nowadays, we're able to do that same operation through the mouth um, with endoscopes. We retrieve the stones via baskets in many cases, and uh, in, in most cases, we're able to avoid external incisions, and certainly we're able to preserve the glands in majority of cases. Certainly, silendoscopy. Absolutely sounds like the preferred option.